Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about the Galaxy Opal David Robinson. Now that his full card's been released, we're going to be talking about which badges in particular you guys should be putting onto his card. So let's get it. Alright, so the issue with David Robinson, he needs so many badges, but you can only put six on him. So, you do have to cut corners here or there, but I will give you guys just some helpful advice to obviously kind of determine where you want to go with this card, because... Tuge are really dropping the ball on this card because he does need quite a few badges. Obviously, there are select ones that you desperately want. Majority of them are very much honorable mentions just because they all affect the card differently. But yeah, let's just, without further ado, let's just get into it. All right, boys, so I have three badges that I recommend you guys to get. Then I have five honorable mentions. Yeah, because this card is ridiculous with how many badges he needs. But you can only have six, so there's only so much you can do with this with this card. I wish 2K would just like if he just gave him like three more extra badges, it would make it a whole lot easier on which badges he needs. But there's so many badges that he does need, you do have to cut corners somewhere. So the first obvious obvious one he needs is Deadeye. Again, it just reduces the impact of a defender when he is closing out. Again, it's probably one of the safest badges to pick up just because. It's a, it's a badge every card needs, and it is come, actually coming down in price now, thankfully. It's still a little bit expensive, like the the bronze one's still ridiculously expensive as some of this price lock in it. But yeah, it's a, it's a badge that you desperately want. Thankfully, it's not as, as not as expensive as it used to be, but yeah, that is Deadeye. The next badge we have is Flexible. It reduces the penalty suffered from missed time and jump shot releases. Again, you could argue this is an honorable mention because obviously you don't know how much jump shots you're going to be taking with this, but obviously kind of pick, imagine in your head how many jump shots you take with your center. Yeah, it's probably quite a lot. It's it, like pick and pops, even when he's just like on the fast break, for example, he grabs a rebound, goes coast to coast. So flexible, definitely a badge I think you guys should get on the card. Not so much a honorable mention, but a badge I do think you guys. All right, so the first badge we have is tie handles. Now, tie handles obviously increases the op the opportunity to break down a defender. So the card does have some decent animations in terms of like dribbling. He has basically, it's basically the same animations as Dirk. So if you like Dirk's animations, you're pretty much gonna like this card's animation. So, in terms of like me personally, I dribble with Dirk a lot. Not, you know, as much as like my guards or whatever. But say he's like backing down the center or he's ISO in with the center. Dirk's dribble moves do really help him in those cases. Because not many people can, not many centers can dribble like Dirk. Obviously, if they're running Giannis at center, you may want to go to someone else. But not many people can keep up with Dirk. So, tie handles improving the ability to break down the defender. It's just, I, th I feel like it's, it's going to be a nice badge to have. All right, so this was originally an honorable mention, but I've kind of, I've kind of, you know, I, this is a this is a badge I will be putting on the card. It is handles for days. Reduce the amount of energy loss when using dribble moves. So if he doesn't have any handles for days, obviously his energy is going to be depleting by quite a bit. But I think with this badge, it can help by quite a bit. Obviously, handles for days, you guys know handles for days. It's a really, really nice badge to have on cards. Usually on guards or forwards, it's quite weird to him have a center have it. But again, you could argue it's an honorable mention, but it's the card I'm going to be putting on the badge. So I'm kind of just putting it in here. Again, if you dribble a lot with your center, if you like to break down people like the ISO with the center, even if you're playing triple threat online, this could be a really nice badge to have. All right, now we're really in the honorable man. Stop and go. So improves the ability to start, stop and start with the ball. This very much depends on what you do when you get a rebound or when you, or if you dribble with a, with a card. So normally you dribble with centers in the paint or if you're speed glitching, ISO in another center. This is a badge I will be putting on the card because I do like to dribble with my center and I like to ISO with them every now and then, depending on who the center is. But obviously stop and go, you guys know how, how important this badge is for guards and forwards. When you're going to be, obviously, actually dishing out a, a shot when you dribble with him, obviously, most of the time, you'll probably just dish it to a better shooter. But if you do find himself wide open, or even if he gets a rebound and then he's on the f he's on the fast break going coast to coast, stop and go, really effective in those kinds of situations. The thing that does really help this card as well is he does have an 89 speed with ball and he does have Hall of Fame downhill, so it does help with his uh, running down the court when he does get a fast break. All right, now, we're, we're still in honorable mentions, Ankle Breaker. This is a badge I'm most likely to be putting on the card because I just like dribbling with centers. Like, I, I'm a weird person. I like dribbling with centers. I like running three centers in triple threat because it is kind of overpowered. But I like, you know, it's just the thought of just freezing someone with angle breaker just is, is amazing. It's amazing. And obviously, angle breaker, he does have a decent ball handle. He does have decent animation. So I do think angle breaker could actually do well with this card. Again, this one is very much an honorable mention. And this one's an honorable mention, pretty much, it's pretty obvious why this one's an honorable mention. If you're really good with this shot release, again, I would use the card first before you put this card on, or if you've used this diamond one, you maybe remember where his shot release is. 
but Green Machine. Obviously, if you can green with him quite consistently, Green Machine is going to be a really nice badge to have. And that's it for the video, guys. If you guys have enjoyed the video, if you found it helpful, please drop a like in the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are brand new around here. Guys, comment down below which badges in particular you were going to be putting on this card. And without further ado, guys, I shall see you guys all later. Take care. Peace.